In this video, we will be using the for each loop to go through a folder of files. So here we have three CSV files. The first one we've used in the past already and is what is currently loaded into our sports teams table. Now we have two additional files that we also want to loop through. And if we open them up, we can see they are the same data structure, just additional teams added. So let's add the for each loop container which will allow us to iterate through each file in the folder. We can drag the data flow task into the for each container and give it a new name. Now let's connect them. And take a look at the editor for the loop. So we have our general tab and then if we go to collection, the area we want to look at is enumerator. Because we're working with files, let's switch this to for each file enumerator. Next, we want to select the folder that we want this loop to go through. So in our case, it's the demo folder. The next step here is files, and we want to give it a pattern for what to look for. And in our case, it's teams and then just wildcards. Next, we'll go to variable mappings, and here we will create a new variable, just call it file name. And what this will do is for each iteration, it will pass the name of the file to uh, this variable. So now let's execute it. We see it ran through a couple times, and let's see what the output is. So we see there are more results here now, but it actually looks like it's repeating the same values. And if we order this, we see that's what's happening. It's the same thing three times. So it looped three times correctly for the three files, but the data was wrong. So to switch this, let's go to our CSV connection, check out our properties, and we want to make this connection string variable based on that new file name that was passed through. So each time it iterates, it'll set this file and therefore set the connection string. So just to take another look, if we go back into the mappings, remember for each time it goes through it's setting that file name which will set now the connection string so let's execute this package it ran a few times and now we see that we have those new teams which means that it captured those new file names correctly and processed them each individually which is exactly what we wanted so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and have a great day